Hey, this is Susan from SmokeAGrillGirl.com and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spatch cooking a chicken and cooking it on the uh, Pit Boss pellet grill. Um, so what is spatch cooking? Basically what it is is removing this uh, backbone on the uh, chicken and the reason you'd want to do that is because it's easier to season and it cooks a lot better. Um, but before we get started, um, be sure and hit that subscribe button and like my channel and um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what you want to do is you want to lay it down to where the uh, backbone is facing you. And then you want to use some sharp shears, kitchen shears, or a knife and cut right along the back. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting. Then you want to cut along the other side. Okay, once you do that, you can actually throw this away or save it and cook some uh, chicken broth or some. Um, we're probably just going to toss it. All right, so if you'll notice, it doesn't uh, lie really flat. So, what we want to do is we want to flip it over. And we're going to look for the uh, breast cone cart uh, breastbone cartilage right here, and we're just going to cut that with a knife. Okay. Cut it a little bit deeper. And there you go. And you can feel it just kind of laying flat. So you'll notice that it's nice and flat now. And you can actually press down on it some more and get it flatter. And then what you'll want to do is season this up with some uh, seasoning of your choice. And then we'll, before we get ready to put it on the grill, we'll want to tuck these wings underneath to prevent them from getting really burnt. So we're going to go ahead and season, up, season it up. And we're going to be seasoning it up with this uh, Traeger pork and poultry grill or pork and poultry seasoning. All right, so we're going to be seasoning this, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to spray it down with this avocado oil, and that's to help the seasoning stick to it a lot better. And then we're seasoning it with the uh, Traeger pork and poultry rub. All right, so now that we have it seasoned, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go outside and preheat the grill and put it on. So we've uh, preheated the grill to 400, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the chicken directly on the rack. All right, so you want to put the, the chicken on the grill with the bone side down. All right, so the chicken's been on there for about 45 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and check the internal temperature now. And you want it to be about 165 reading about 159 in that spot. So we're going to give it another 10 minutes and then we'll be, we'll be back to take it off the grill. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull the chicken off the grill and let it rest for about 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going to take it inside and let it rest for 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll do a taste test. All right, so the um, chicken has been resting for about 20 minutes, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just take a, uh, a sample. So I'm just going to 
carve off a little piece right here of the white meat. You can see that the uh, the skin is not real crispy, and that's because we didn't cook it very high on um, high enough heat. But um, looks nice and moist. Has a very good flavor. It tastes great. So anyway, stop by at my uh, website at smokergrillgirl.com for more tips and resources on um, using your uh, pip, uh, smoker grill, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.